Okay. Don't touch my equipment. Keep your hands what off my need? stuff. Listen, if you're going to come out like that, if you want to come out and get respect, you got to give respect. How's it going guys? Watching the Watchman here, out with Amagansett Press. And today we're in Gretna, Nebraska, a small city in between Lincoln and Omaha. And uh, we're at the Gretna Post Office. And today, as usual, we're gonna take some video on public property and in the public building and see if the folks here respect our First Amendment right to do so. So we'll see how it goes. As you guys know, it's been a while. We haven't really been putting up too many videos recently, but we're back out on the road traveling, making videos, and uh, you guys should definitely stay tuned. Now's a good time to make sure you're subscribed and have notifications on. Today's Wednesday, May 11th, 2022. It's 2.04 p.m. and it is 91 degrees and sunny here in Gretna, Nebraska. I've been to Nebraska, me and AP have been to Nebraska plenty of times, uh, but I don't think we've made many videos here. I think it's only about two or three probably, and it uh, should be interesting to see how it goes. How you making out there, watch What's, What's happening? What's going on? All right, so what do you think? We'll, uh, we'll take a walk around the property. Start yeah. from there? Yeah. Very good. Cool. Welcome back. Yeah, you too. So as, as you guys can see, there's a uh, bank next door. As well as a couple of gas stations and a uh, strip mall over there. Here's the front of the building here. And as you can see by the flag, it's very windy out. This is the side of the building here. It's pretty cool. You can see the uh, Gretna water tower from here. Drive through mail drop off on the side of the building. And uh, no restricted area on this particular post office. Uh, a lot of them have a fenced in area uh, near the loading dock and uh, where they keep the postal vehicles parked but not so on this one so here's the loading area and as usual there is some debris over here uh, tends to happen on post office properties it's pretty neat yeah except for the pieces of cardboard laying there but he, I'll, I'll give him a pass this my way yeah yeah but, uh... yeah not surprising because of the wind, but uh, pretty neat. Looks like uh, looks like they keep the grass pretty trim. Usually, uh, federal property isn't too well maintained, especially post offices. But uh, this one's looking all right. Yeah, very open post office with no restricted area, and actually not even any. Uh, not seeing any postal vehicles here. No mail trucks or anything. Uh, they must all be out doing their routes. No signage at all. Yep. No signage on the doors here. And that's just a standard sign which all post offices have up. So uh, nothing on the doors here. And here's actually a postal vehicle. First one we've seen. Two, three, two, zero, two, two, one.
think we have uh, contact from a postal employee here. And I tried to put on my least spooky hat today. <laughs> this chick walks in like some people, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> While filming outside? Yeah. Hey, I don't know what that is. People get afraid of cameras. I don't know uh, what the yeah, story is. Oh, yeah, it's very uncomfortable. What's up, is it you really? Guys? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. What's going well, on? I guess it depends on who's behind the camera. Because, like, you go on vacation, families take That's not uncomfortable. Maybe. Right? What's and there's, going ca on? there's cameras all around everywhere. Well, what's going on? We're always on cameras. We're just working on a little story about your post office. Oh, a good one, I hope. Are you the postmaster? No. 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 You want me to go get him? No, not necessarily. Oh, okay. If I need anything, I'll definitely ask. We're going to come in and buy a stamp in a little while. Oh, okay. Check out the inside of the post office. Okay. Cool. Just, uh, see how things are going. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Cool. Oh, my name's Jason. What was your I'm name? I'm Amina. Ami, for Amy. sure. Very yeah. Nice to meet you, Ami. Okay. Appreciate and your ben. Name? Ben. Nice ben. To meet you. Hi, Ben. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you guys. Thank you so much. No problem. And you can tell her there's nothing to worry about. Okay. Just, Just say nice things cameras. about us, right? Well, you know, I always like to say I can't make you look good or bad. I can just record what you do. I mean, real talk. That's it. <laughs> Appreciate you, Ami. You guys have a good one. All right. Well, Ami's cool with it. Ami's yeah. not the postmaster. And uh, so far, so good. And I'd like to believe the rest of the order will go that way because, uh, contrary to popular belief, you know, a lot of people yeah, say. So hopefully, uh, oh, things will go well, well from here on. Uh, it seems like Ami didn't have an issue with us taking video. You know, as uh, plenty of people do, she said she felt uncomfortable uh, being on camera, but, uh, you know, didn't try to give us a hard time or tell us we're not allowed to film or anything. And that's what we like to see, you know, friendly, smiling, uh, being polite and respectful. And uh, hopefully we won't have any other issues, but like you, uh, like you saw her say, she's not the postmaster, and if the postmaster has an issue, that'll be a different story. But uh, so far, so good. Stay tuned. You never know what way it's going to go. So you want to go see what kind of probably non-existent signage we have on the doors? Yeah, sure. Doesn't look like much. So celebrate moms, dads, and grads. All right, we got mom covered, dad's coming up next, man. Don't forget about it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, nothing really interesting in the uh, way of signage. Their uh, face covering thing says recommended. And that's pretty much it. No smoking, handicap, accessible. And uh, hours are on this window. Yeah, pretty standard uh, minimal level of signage. And here's the uh, post office emblem, a little uh, faded, but there you go. I really am impressed with how neat this place is. Yeah, it looks pretty good yeah, for a post good. office, especially in uh, such a small town out yeah. here, uh, out in the middle of Nebraska. All right, well, I'll take a position here in the shade and we'll hang out for a little while, see what's cooking. Amazing. I was working on a little video about the post office. Awesome. You have a customer here? You have a box here or whatever? I don't. Is this your no, I'm just dropping some mail. Oh, I got you. I was just going to ask you if you're happy with the service. You're yeah. Everybody friendly and smiling? Everybody is friendly and smiling. Very cool. And they're watching out because they're like, what are these folks doing out here? Yeah. I don't so. know what it is. Cameras make people uh, put people on point, I guess. I guess. Yeah. Hey, you guys have a good one. Yeah, you, you, you too. Okay. So far, so good here in Gretna. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. Um, you guys let me know in the comments if the quality, the video quality looks better on this video. Uh, got a little more equipment uh, added to the setup and have some better battery life, better storage now. So I upped some video quality settings and it should be hopefully significantly better, at least a little bit better than uh, last time. This looks like this guy uh, probably works at the post office. He's uh, through the glass door there. Probably, yeah. I'm glad uh, after three years or so of doing videos, um, I think we're pretty much got the setups per perfected. You know, might uh, Need a little bit more modification, but so far. Don't 
Don't touch my equipment. I'm not. Keep your hands what off do you my need? stuff. Listen, if you're gonna come out like that, if you want to come out and get respect, you gotta give respect. I just want to know what you need. All right, you just walked up a foot and a half away from me and stuck your hand about an inch and a half from I don't my need camera. A video tape. What do you need? I need you to be a little respectful oh, okay. and calm down for a second. That's what I need. All right, we'll see you later. Don't speak to Ami. She knows how to behave. What she? What did you want with her? I didn't want anything with her. Just met her. She's a wonderful, cordial, right. very nice okay. employee. Unlike nice. yourself. You bet. Yeah, you can learn something from her. Comes walking through the bushes. Walks up less than 18 inches from my camera and sticks his hand about two inches from my lens. What a clown. Yeah. See, so that's just an example. Like, everything was happy, sunny, and cheery when Ami came out. Yeah. This guy comes out and changes it into something else. So that's why I was saying before, these videos go however the post office or wherever the location that we're at that day want it to go. Um, and that's, you know, sometimes a good thing and sometimes it's unfortunate. But... It's not necessary. There's no need for people to act like that. And, uh, you know, keep that in mind in your own day to day. Refills up to. How are we doing, boss? Good. Refills up to. Make a little video about the post office. Oh, nice. I like this top of it. Oh, thanks. Nice. Got, got a few of the <laughs> How are you making out today? Yeah. Great. Yeah. World right. treating you all right? Yeah. Very yeah, cool. Definitely. Very cool. All right. Guys, have fun. Yeah, you do the yeah, same. Have Appreciate a good day. you. See, uh, not sure of the secret motives there, but if you come at me cordial, you get cordial. Come at me like a meatball, you're gonna get meatball. I can do any of them. And the fact of the matter is I'm from New York, so I can probably be a bigger asshole than you can. Yeah, so as you guys saw, uh, everything was going great here uh, until the face of ignorance, we'll call him, reared his ugly head yeah. and uh, no need for that. Guy saw us through that door, didn't want to get on the camera, so he walks all the way around to the other side, sneaks through the bushes up behind AP and gets in his face. You know, I don't know why people uh, choose to act like that. You got to keep in mind, if you're going to do things like that, like that guy did, and go get up in AP's face, you got to realize right, wrong, whatever you think it is, there are people out there who will take that as... You know, you just started a fight, you know, getting that close to somebody, putting your hand on their, almost on their camera, up to their camera. No need to put yourself in that situation. So I would assume he called the police on us. Uh, he was not very happy about his filming, as you saw, and uh, rushed back inside. So. No need for that either, but as you guys know, we don't mind. Uh, it gives us an opportunity to see how the police department here will handle the situation, and hopefully they know what the law is. and. Together, uh, we in the police department can educate uh, that guy today, and then he won't go, uh, you know, getting involved with people who are just minding their business, taking video on public property. Oh, here's the uh, original postal employee that pulled up in the van before, uh, who originally went inside and rang the alarm. Would have asked us what we were doing. I would have happily told you. If you would have asked me what I was doing, I would have happily told you. Well, I was just confused. I got you. No, I appreciate you. I'm not trying to be spooky or anything. That's why we're standing out in broad daylight trying to be obvious. Certainly didn't mean to alarm you. Have a good day. Thank you. Yeah, so she was the one who went in there originally and rang the alarm. Uh, the reason why Ami, I think so her name was, came out. And, uh, I, yeah. I see somebody out there. All right, yeah, guys, and just want to announce also, um, as you guys know, we haven't been really active on YouTube recently. And uh, right now we're going on our biggest trip yet, uh, over 15,000 mile road trip all around the country. So uh, keep your eyes out and make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Hey, you want to stay there? I'll go over here. Sure. So we can cover both doors. So it looks like, uh, looks like police over here. There's a police op police officer over here. Uh, yeah. Police uh -oh. officer going in. Looks like we have a, uh, so we have a uh, not sure what agency it is, but police officer here. Just saw her go in. For a second, I didn't think she was a police officer. I thought it was just one of those people that ride around in a Ford Explorer, but. Uh, Oh, here we have a Sarpy Sheriff marked vehicle, camo.
Ever seen a camo police car before? Yeah. Oh no, gentlemen. Hold on, guys. Do a little filming today? Yeah. Beautiful day, why not? A little yeah. sticky. It is a little sticky, sticky right about that. Right. So this unmarked vehicle here is uh, license plate 47267, county government. And this vehicle is 47264, county government. So they have a big tribute to the uh, military here, uh, both on the hood and the whole vehicle being camo. Something different for sure. I've seen a lot of police cars, never seen one uh, camoed out like that. Let's go inside and see what they're talking about. Yeah. It's too hot out here. Yeah, it is warm. Yeah. 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 No fair, you, you guys got all the air conditioning out. I know, right? That's right. Here, right? Yep. Right, Just cool. remember, you guys don't go in secure areas and oh, interfere not. with the operation. We're good to That's go. it. Good good yeah. We All right. Thank All right, you very guys. Can I Enjoy. just, just so I have it for the record here, can I just ask names and badge numbers so I know what's that? Bolt. Bolt, B O L D T, 1020. Very good. Deputy Lassan, 1059. Deputy Richardson, 1110. And I just want to, you know, coming from with me, you, know, you take it how you take it, but I really just want to commend you guys on your professional and courteous. Uh, Behavior here today. Yeah, no problem. And uh, coming in with an objective attitude and finding out what was going on, handling it that way. It doesn't always go that way, but we appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. And I'm sure you know what we're doing. Oh, sure. Yeah. 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 Sure. But you're so far you've been well within your rights as long as you remember no secure areas and don't uh, interfere with the operation of the That's it. post office. Yeah. Good. And you let the postmaster know all that. I'm yep. 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 Yeah, sure. Very good. He's good to go. All right. Very good. Appreciate Take care, guys. Thank you. Stay cool out yep. there. Yep. Enjoy your day. All right, guys, so got some post office boxes here. This uh, building was dedicated into public service in 1995 by William Clinton, President of the United States, and Marvin Runyon, Postmaster General. A lot of Marvin Runyon plaques. Must have he, built a lot of post offices. Yeah, I was going to say, he must have been into putting up new post offices. Poster 7. Yeah, so you have your poster 7 here, which there's a lot of confusion on poster 7. Um, in the auditing world, and I think you just witnessed uh, the end of the story on that one for the umpteenth time. So uh, anybody that's out there giving you bad information about us not being able to film at the post office, here you have it, folks. Don't pay any attention to the trolls, especially the ones that even name their channels troll. <laughs> you know, that's brilliant. Um, so yeah, there's a mail drop off. You have a community posting board here. Some uh, hunting information. Some public information here. Yeah, they keep it nice and cool in here. Yeah, it is nice and cool in here. Obviously, it doesn't keep the uh, tempers down, though. It's not <laughs> cold enough. So, got my dollar. Well, let's go inside and get our stamp. Oh, I've never seen that before. Look. What's that? Service in five minutes or less. Or what? <laughs> or the pizza's free. Yeah, yeah, or the pizza's free. <laughs> Or your uh, postage is free. Hello. Hey. Ami, you need to be the postmaster. <laughs> We're voting for you at the next meeting. I don't know. I think everybody should just be smiling and happy these days, you know? I guess your postmaster thought we weren't allowed to be here for some reason. I don't know. But we're nice guys. What were you guys doing? Not every, I'm going to tell you exactly what we're doing. And not everybody with the camera is a jerk. Some of them are. But not everybody. Uh, what we're doing, this is my son. Nice We've been traveling the country for three years defending the Constitution of the United States in a very passive way. So what we do is uh, we go out, we take photos and video in public in places where we have a total lawful and constitutional right to be and gauge the response and see what happens. Okay. Are you aware of your poster seven? Poster Anybody ever seven. teach you about poster seven? Poster seven is hanging out in the lobby of all post offices. You have it here. Uh, and it is the rules and regulations governing conduct on postal property. And in that 
uh, document, there's a paragraph on photographs in the post office, which gives us express, yeah. acknowledges our right to be able to take video and photographs inside the post office. Okay. So, obviously can't go in any restricted areas, can't start a fight with your customers, can't block the line, <laughs> can't do anything a normal person could do, but we have a camera and we're just documenting what's going on. Okay. And, and you've been you wonderful. you posted somewhere? We do. It goes on YouTube. It goes on YouTube? Yeah. Everybody's going to love you. I hope so. Oh, they absolutely will. <laughs> I'm sure they will. On YouTube. So what do I look up on YouTube? I'll give it to you. You have a pen and okay, paper? Yeah, I'll write I do. Sure, I'd be happy to. Yeah. You earned all of my respect today, Anna. Oh, we thanks. need more. We need more government workers like you. Oh. For real. It means a lot. You have no idea. And uh, the people that watch us will be very happy. Oh, good. It's the smile, isn't it? Just it is. You have a beautiful smile. No, you really do. The postmaster? Not so much. But I hope you learned something today. And I don't want to get you in trouble, so that was a rhetorical statement. I'm not expecting an answer. You are aces with us. Great. Yeah. No, I keep it up. Don't let anybody ever, you won't. I don't need to tell you anything, but don't ever let anybody bitter you or get you upset. Life is great. You have kids? I do. Your kids must love the heck out of you. Oh, I'm thank sure. you. Thank you. No, you earned it. You really, it's wonderful. It's not every day that you go into a place where there's government employees or federal employees that are happy and cheerful and courteous. You know, that's not... You know, so you stand out among oh, the crowd. Thanks. So keep it up. Thanks. And uh, I just want to buy one stamp from one you stamp, all. One stamp, you got it. I can do one stamp for you. And what is the postmaster's name? Uh, his name is Kent. Kent? Yeah. What is his last name? I don't know. I got to know before. We just got it. It's uh oh okay. We because that is public information. I'm yeah, not, I don't want his well, private it, stuff. And it's uh. We're technically without a postmaster right now. Oh, gosh. Oh, know, so he's the officer in charge kind of thing? Yeah. Gotcha. Supervisor okay. in charge or something. Is he available? You think you might want to come out and just say goodbye before we leave? I, I like to leave things on a positive note. I can I can see if I can find and him. And if I can shake his hand and leave him with a smile, I'd be a happier guy I'll today. go see if I can find him. <laughs> cool. I'll give, tell him I'll give him a lollipop if he comes out. <laughs> so there's 42 cents awesome. in the train. Can you switch your hands here? Um, let me give you this one forever stamp. Thank you, Alma. No I appreciate problem. it. And can I get a printed receipt with that? Oh, yeah. Yep. Comment. My wife puts them in a souvenir box. Hey. I can I'll even write been, my name on it. We've been to hundreds of post offices. Really? See yep. what I'm going to do. Amina. Smiley Amina. fail face. And there's our survey. Amina, what? It's Pakistani. 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 Mm -hmm. That's cool. Very yeah. cool. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks. Nice. So if we could just see a Tom, is see, that his name? Uh, Kent. Kent, Let I'm me sorry. go see if I can <laughs> see. See, he didn't make that much of an impression on me, I guess. You Thank you, Arnold. Thank you. No problem. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Yeah, and you know what, guys? I hope we can uh, shake hands, start all over again, hit the reset button, leave Kent in a good way here. And, uh, you know, growth is not always comfortable, and uh, learning something is not always an easy thing to admit that you didn't know. But uh, it's the right way to handle it. I would highly suggest that if you have the opportunity to be wrong in your day, you seize the opportunity and learn something rather than pretend you know and walk away with nothing. He's hiding. Well, just tell, just let him know if you would. I really wanted to leave things on a positive note with him. I wanted to shake his hand, leave him with a smile, and explain to him what we were doing. Um, a lot of times people don't realize that what we're doing is we're out here standing up for our rights, your rights, and everybody's rights. Yeah. And, uh, you know, our, our Constitution is taking a little bit, bit of a butt kick in these days, and we're not very happy about it. So freedom and liberty for all. That's hey. all we're all about. Hey. We're not looking for any issues for anybody. And, you know, I think uh, a lot of times people think because of the cameras there's something else going on, but... That's a little intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> well, these big cameras, too. Maybe if I had a little cell phone or something, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that might, that might help. look better. So but then the video quality is not as good. And you right? Can't with, yeah, so it's, you know, and I'd rather not be carrying this heavy thing around all day, but it's the way it goes. But well, it's I, cool that you're working with your son. That's it cool. is. We get, we're making memories. We've been at 34, 35 states. Wow. Yeah. Cool. He's seeing our country. Let me tell you, it's a big, beautiful country wow. full of wonderful people out there. Don't watch the news. Okay. Turn that Actually, I off. really don't. Good. I don't. There's some sad stuff on it. And you can probably appreciate it because you know how, like, in, in your home country. I mean, oh, well, I'm not born, from there. You were born here, I know. But yeah. I'm saying, uh, your My dad's. Ancestors. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's a perception in this country about Afghanistan and Pakistan. It's all lies. Yeah. I'm sure it's full of wonderful people <laughs> with big smiles on their faces just like you, the majority. Really? 
And you know, we want people to know that. We want people to think outside the box and yeah, start yeah. thinking for themselves and yeah. take people on a one-by-one -one individual basis. Don't just lump people into a category because of the way they look or what they're doing. Yeah, or, you know, yeah. You might be cutting yourself off from something. That's very true. Yeah. Very, very true. So I'll leave it on that before I trip over my words. <laughs> Thank you very much. I really nice appreciate it. Thank Take you. Can let Kent know that we were here. I will. I'll go see if I can. With all good intentions. Okay. We appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. I'm going to check this out. I'm excited. <laughs> it should be up tomorrow. Okay. To, so just go to YouTube. Type in either one of our channel names. Okay. And you'll see Gret in the post office. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shiny I don't star. think I've ever been on YouTube or nothing. Well, you will be now. Okay. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> have a wonderful day. Thank you. you guys too. Thank, Thank you. you. Drive safe. You too. You too. Well, Alright, everybody. Uh, you saw how that went here at the Gretna Post Office in Gretna, Nebraska. Overall, a great experience, and uh, luckily in this case, one, uh, one rotten apple did not spoil the whole bunch here. Uh, only issue we had was with, I believe he's the po I believe it was Kent who came out, and um, you know, there's no need for that. There's no need for him to approach us and approach AP the way he did, uh, sticking his hand into uh, right in front of AP's camera lens and the whole thing, getting so close to him. And uh, also, there's no need for him to call the police. I mean, you saw how that went. We're glad it, uh, the Gretna police came out and were able to educate these people. I'm sorry, not the Gretna police, the county sheriff. Um, but, you know, other police departments, uh, different police department might have shown up and done something horrible, you know, or arrested us, or you never know. Uh, so calling the police on someone who's not committing a crime is really unnecessary and it can put someone in a really bad situation so there's no reason to do that and uh, luckily everything worked out here today and a big thanks to Ami uh, one of the best postal employees we've ever met uh, doing these videos and we really appreciate her we need more postal employees out there like her so you guys can let me know what you think in the comments contact info is always in the description if you want to contact the Gretna post office and let them know what you think of Ami and the good good postal employees, good examples. And let them know what you think of Kent. And uh, you can also contact the sheriff's office and let them know how you think the officers handled it. I think they did well. And uh, that's about it for this one, guys. So make sure you check out the description. All that contact info is down there. Uh, also playlists. I have a playlist for each state we've visited and done videos in. Uh, so you can see if your state's there. See if we've been to your city. And... Uh, so if you want to support the channel, help us uh, keep doing what we do, best way to do that is to like, comment, subscribe, check out my other social medias, and turn on notifications here on YouTube. And uh, stay tuned for our big trip coming up. So watching The Watchmen, out with Amy at Press, here in Gretna, Nebraska, at the post office. See you on the next one, guys. Out. Name and plate number and all that info, so you don't have to follow me around again. No, nope. I'd be happy to. I'm not hiding who I, I am. I'm not, not worried about it. You weren't doing anything illegal, oh, okay. so no. It just looked like you guys were sitting over here keeping an eye out. So. No, we're not. Where he's actually finishing up on some paperwork. I got my bad assumption then. And we're we're staying in the shade because the AC doesn't keep keep up if we're sitting in the I got uh, sun. A lot of times so, that's you know the cops will just linger around. Yeah, no, no. Watch me so walk back. So we're sitting in the shade. We did a traffic stop over there already. And we're over here in the shake, staying out of the way. Very cool. That's it. Okay. Very good. So he's That's got it. paperwork to do. I just figured I'd come over and give you my info if you wanted it. Nope, not Nothing at all. To hide. You're not doing anything wrong, so Appreciate there's no you. reason for me and to. And I really want to commend you guys. Uh, you know, I uh, I don't know what the motive is behind the way you handle things. Obviously, I'm not at sure. training seminars and all right. that. Um, so I don't know if it's just. You've been told not to confront people with cameras unless they're obviously unless doing something, whatever. Have you had training on that? On first uh, you know, training? not not specific training okay. as far as I mean, just common sense, really. You know, the common sense. Common sense. I wish every you one know. of us would get common sense back then. So, it was I, a better I, world. Our our agency is very good. We we understand people's rights. We're all about the you know civil liberties and very cool. You know, an individual's rights. Okay. As long as you're not breaking a statutory law. Right. Or, you know. Well, you know why I asked, because there are times when not this department, 
But there are times when other police officers, other law enforcement, sure. will kind of fish around to come up with something to nail you on and sure. then demand ID and do all that. You didn't sure. do any of that. Yep. So that's fantastic. That's the way it should be. We yep. all want to be free Americans. Yep, absolutely. And at the end of the day, once you realize what we're doing and why we're doing it, we're all on the same page, man. We're just reading it a different way. D we're just approaching it a different way. That's all it is. Yep. We all want the same thing. Yep. You got a website? This is, this is my son. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, he's good, 18 good. years old. I've been traveling with him for three years, making memories, defending yeah. our Constitution. Yeah, absolutely. So that's what we do. You know what we do. We go out to public places, take sure. video photographs, and see sure. how you guys handle it. Sure. Yeah. So. But I do, if you want to write it down, it's a long name. It's, it's a long old, name? It's an old Indian uh, I can review. I'll, I'll listen to my camera so later. So, Amagansett Press. It's what? Amagansett Press. Emma. A-M-A. A-M-A. A -M -A. G A N. Okay. S E double T. Okay. Second word press. On uh, Amagansett is the name of the town I'm from in East Hampton. Is it uh, is it on YouTube or is it on YouTube? YouTube? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. I have one of the bigger channels. So. Yeah. Well, make sure you guys are hydrate, man. It's a little sticky out. Oh, it. Okay. Good deal. And uh, this channel is watching the Watchmen. Okay. You guys are the Watchmen. He's yep. Watchmen. Yep. Absolutely. So. You no, guys, we appreciate you, man. You guys really have it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I have this dream in my head. I'm kind of like John Lennon mentality. I'm a dreamer. Right. And I hope one day law enforcement and the good citizens in this country that are just out testing their rights and that sure. kind of thing will all sync up and understand what we're doing and we're just trying to help sure. each other. You know, sure. That's what it's all about. I get it. We can't let this country slide down the tubes, man. I, I get it. We're, uh, all doing, we're all doing our little piece, right? Well, I appreciate you, brother. All right. Thank you. you guys have a safe journey.